Amazon is focused on customers rather than competitors. For ZDNet and Tech Republic, I'm Dan Patterson with ZDNet and Tech Republic's uh, editor in chief and editorial director, Larry Dignan, to discuss how Amazon doesn't sweat the competition, but every other company needs to answer the Amazon question. And competitors are coming quickly, Larry. They're definitely answering the question, and they're getting asked the question regardless about what your solution is for Amazon. Um, the last earnings season we had, the one that's just, you know, sort of concluding, um, Amazon had to be the most, most asked about third party ever. Uh, it's really, it's really interesting across like retail, obviously logistics, transportation, it, it kind of goes on and on. Um, and now that Amazon has closed the deal with Whole Foods and that goes into effect soon, um, you'll see cheaper grocery prices at Whole Foods, you'll see prime lockers everywhere, the prime loyalty program. Um, so there's a storyline which isn't exactly accurate, but the storyline is basically that Amazon's going to disrupt everything in multiple categories. Um, you could debate that forever, but you can see the companies that, you know, Amazon says it's customer focused, but, and it says it's not worried about its competitors, but if it sticks to that mantra, all that means is that all the competitors need to worry about Amazon more. And we're seeing this, we're seeing this play out in multiple ways. So the first example is um, Google Home and Walmart. Google and Walmart hooked up to sort of create this um, Alexa assistant kind of thing where you could order Walmart products directly from Google Home. And this is, and, and Google's forged partnerships with Costco as well as Target. And what's interesting here is they're just kind of trying to come up with an Alexa competitor, right? Because at some point you're gonna say, Alexa, order Pampers or whatever. And all you're gonna get is Amazon results, right? Because it's all integrated. So retailers have got to have a Alexa answer of some sort. Um, this plays out in groceries, it plays out in retail. Um, it's even playing out for retailers that aren't affected by Amazon, you could argue yet, but it, it's very interesting. Um, Home Depot reported a kick-ass quarter. I mean, same source sales were up more than 6%. I mean, the company is just, they kind of got the omni-channel retailing thing down. And, you know, they're one, they're one of the few retailers that are actually really, really killing it. And, um, they were talking about their strategy and how it's all working out. And all they got was questions about Amazon because Amazon is selling Kenmore appliances for Sears. Um, and it just goes on and on. It's like the whole, the whole conference call was basically hijacked by Amazon. And you're just kind of, you know, when you read the transcript, you're just wondering what's going on. So what is, what about uh, video and content? Everybody is, is talking about this as well. And it's an area Amazon has moved into. Apple is looking to move into it as well. How does video and content play into this? Well, that's, that's the, how do you answer for prime question, right? So Apple obviously is competing with Netflix. I mean, basically Apple is competing for eyeballs like everybody else's, no matter what your business is. And so they're competing with Netflix, they're competing with Spotify, and they're competing with Amazon Video. So, you know, even Apple's reportedly going to pony up, pony up a billion dollars for original content and films and stuff like that. Um, and that's interesting, but a billion dollars is kind of a drop in the bucket, really, compared to what Netflix and Amazon's already spending. Um, but you can, see the, you can see the wheels churning here, right? It, it's really... Amazon is basically integrated into everything. So you even got Apple making moves for it. Um, you know, obviously, and to take that video example, you know, your Apple's procuring original content for Netflix, but Netflix also runs on Amazon web services. So uh, Amazon's kind of got it coming and going. Um, and then speaking of cloud, I mean, you're looking at every cloud vendor that's competing with Amazon is talking about AI a lot because, you know, when, um, Amazon Web Services have its, has its conference later in the fall, it's probably going to be very AI heavy. And so Google, there was a, a deal with Microsoft and Halliburton about AI and deep learning. And, you know, this is going to be trench warfare in the cloud by industry by industry. And no matter what sector you touch, it almost seems whatever, even UPS gets questions about Amazon, right? Whether 
Amazon spending or Amazon's doing its own cargo fleet. Um, it's, it's just, it's fascinating to see how many sectors Amazon's touching and we can see it coming, but what, what's happening now is all the third parties, all the, all the potential disruptees are starting to talk more about their Amazon answers. Uh, one really interesting sector that, again, Amazon is everywhere, is education with 10 marks. Uh, uh, all of these other companies try to compete in education as well, but Amazon has a lead there. Yeah, it, it's very, that's another, that's another sector, right? That where Amazon's looking to disrupt some things. And, you know, basically 10 marks, it's a, it's a tutoring service, so to speak. And they, get, they give teachers rubrics and tools to work with. And the idea is, I mean, I like the one thing because they're, uh, they just came out with something for writing, right? So it's, it's nice to see Amazon paying attention to writing a bit, giving everybody else's STEM happy. Um, so that's interesting too, right? So you, you just see this. And, and so you'll probably, if, if I'm the fast forward, you're probably going to hear for-profit education companies and, you know, Kaplan and all those sort of guys, they're going to start getting questions about Amazon. What's, what's your answer for Amazon? Um, it's to the point where, you know, I guess GE may not have to answer this question at some point, but, you know, the, the bandwagon of companies who have to answer for Amazon on some level, it's, it's just fascinating. It's kind of snowballing and it's snowballing in a way that I don't think is happening with other companies. 